folks, that's my setup today. Battery was dead last night, so it's now four in the morning. But this is my setup. And you can see this is it's very, it's been rainy, 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 and it sagged a lot. It sagged a lot. You can see it's still very, very rainy. The rain has stopped from outside. But everything's wet, as you can see. You can see all that rain droplets on there. And this is my setup in here. And the mat is doing better. Um, got the space blanket underneath there. Got my whole setup like this. The only problem is there's a lot of condensation on the inside, as you can see. A lot of condensation on the inside. And, uh, even my sleeping bag is all wet on the outside. All right, let me get back in and uh, give an update. Let's see. All right, folks, as you can see, there is definitely a lot of condensation on the inside here. And you can see, you can see it's definitely, it's wet on the inside. A lot of raindrops on the inside and this is because of the condensation I don't know if it permeated from the outside in I think it's from the inside out it's probably just just uh, from the fact of the breathing uh, the condensation moisture from it wet but you can see it's, it's wet everywhere even my bag is damp down here and through the night um, this is a 10 by 10 DD tarp and uh, through the night, uh, as I moved, twisted and turned, the whole pad was sliding down. That's my feet, as you can see, We're down there, sliding off into the ground here. And so the foot box, the foot box is definitely a little wet. This is definitely a little wet up here, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that. It's definitely a little wet. So there's definitely a lot of condensation in this in this tarp here. Okay, definitely a lot of condensation. This is great to keep this side out. This side is this side, but you can see it's inside. There's, there's nothing, out, and you can see the drips of water fell down right there. Uh, but this side does not get pulled out, so I need to find a way to get this side pulled out a little more. Uh, for comfort issues, but that would be good if this was pulled out like that. Other than that, um, it's a little damp here. I just got up for a bathroom break. But right now, as you can see, it is 4:10 in the morning. Uh, it dropped. It, it was raining all night. Light rain, not terrible rain, um, but it was. Uh, but. Um, was it raining last night um, it didn't get down be below freezing as you can see it's really rainy outside my boots waterproof boots are very good I got it closed up here like this so I got it closed up like that and the DD tarp locked up in the tree and so it's the tarp worked okay um, other than that you know, there's definitely a little moisture in here. Again, that I don't know if that's that may be from my, just my breath, um, or maybe permeating through the tarp. Definitely need to pull the sides out. That would uh, make it a lot more comfortable inside here. All right, sorry I couldn't film in the last night. Uh, no battery, but uh, yeah, that's the update for tonight. folks got about one more hour here as you can see this is very uh, problematic uh, this is raining on top of me this is getting soaked as you can see it's definitely getting wet and um, yeah 
comes to this pad, which is the again, insulated static five climate. Um, this is probably by far the most comfortable pad I've ever used. So if it's flexing, the problem is you know, it's supposed to be insulated. But in these points pockets where it goes down, it is not. Uh, it's basically supposed to capture the air. So for that, it does not do that. This thing is cold. Uh, I've now tested this one, this particular mat, uh, twice, and it's not even it's been sub zero, and it is cold. Like my whole body is freezing cold on the bottom. This inlet equipment uh, down at the end of this thing is wet. This thing is definitely wet, as you can see. It's completely wet right here. That is wet. But that's still keeping me warm. Um, my foot box got... Foot box, look at this. You can see my whole tent is just collapsing on me. And I mean, this thing is... I'm basically... This thing is definitely touching everywhere. And it's getting wet. Uh, as you can see, there's, there's definitely moisture on here. You can probably see that. Um, it is protected by a down material. I mean, I'm not down material, I'm sorry. It's hard to speak with this light shining in your face. But it is protected by um, a waterproofing, uh, a water resistance. So it does still insulate. But again, it is getting compromised. It is definitely starting to... I mean, I could not get a comfortable one hour of sleep here um, after I made that first report at four. Uh, I got a couple good hours at night, but now this thing is definitely, the whole thing, the whole tent is sagging. And the whole thing is touching my sleeping mat. It's getting, it's very um, uncomfortable. And uh, this sleeping pad is terrible. I mean, I really, it's so comfortable, so I, I was so happy about it. But in terms of insulated value, it's absolutely horrific. It's terrible. My whole body is freezing on the bottom. And I still have a emergency space blanket here with the reflective side down, as you can see. Um, but still, this is not able to keep me warm. Um, this, this, and I, that's, it's sad. It's a very sad thing because I really wanted, and it has a R value of 4.4. So, I really was hoping this would keep me warm because it's so comfortable. Um, but it just, it does not, does not do the job. So I'm going to have to find a way around that, how to uh, deal with that because this pad is definitely underperforming. It's not even snow temperature uh, and yet my whole body is freezing cold on the bottom. Um, I love the compact size of it. I love the, you know, packability. And uh, it's supposedly 4.4 R value, which should allow it to be right on the snow. Uh, but there's no way you could do this on the snow because it's already so absolutely freezing. Uh, and you can see it's, it is extremely comfortable, man, but it's a hugely disappointing. Um, I could not even get an extra um, hour after that after that report at four. So as you can see, it's five now, and I've just been twisting and turning, just trying to get a couple more hours. Uh, but everything is soaking wet, and um, yeah, I mean it's just down here and everything is just wet. wet and I'm starting to get cold. And um, it's very hard for me to regulate my temperature now, which means I have to probably eat something real quick and um, warm up. All right, it's a little disappointing on that sleeping pad. That's the most disappointing thing. The most def definitely the most uh, disappointing thing. All righty. Alright folks, you can see 
I'm gonna start warming up. It's all wet here. This DD tarp. Somehow the water goes through slowly, or it's just a condensation. Um, I'm having trouble believing that the whole tarp is wet because of condensation. So you can see definitely it is an ultralight. Um, and there definitely is water on the inside. This has happened every time I use this sh use this shelter. Um, but in the rain yesterday, it really sagged a lot. And it, didn't, it didn't rain terribly hard. I, got, I think uh, overall precipitation was about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Um, but it definitely sags like crazy. As you can see, I'm getting wet just under here. And the whole um, quilt is also wet as well. Um, but it is still insulating. Sorry about that. This down is definitely insulating, uh, even though I'm, it's it's wet. Um, but again, the most disappointing thing was this climate um, static insulated five, supposedly having a 4.4 R value, but absolutely freezing, freezing at night, um, and it's not even below freezing right now. Real fuel is about 40s and 40s, and upper 30s and 40s, so it's not even that cold. And this has been a huge disappointment. Um, the price point is amazing, the comfort is amazing, but I can't just re I can't recommend it. It's, it's it is a bad mat. It is definitely not a 4.4 R value, and uh, do not buy that this product. It's a it's a bad product. Uh, it's unfortunate because I want it to be good because the price point is awesome again, and the um, if it was a, really an insulation insulated 4.4. Uh, I should not feel freezing at night on top of it in the, in the cold. Um, and it's so comfortable. It's got these V panels all the way down. So it's, again, it's very, very comfortable. Super comfortable mat. But actually these pockets, these pockets create so much cold. Um, the cold just comes right through there. So again, it is definitely not doing what it's supposed to do um, and uh, I'm just trying to warm this up and get some warm liquid in me because I'm definitely cold my upper body's warm now because of the blanket but the bottom again is cold very very disappointing again I just wanted to double test it again it just is not performing so I'm gonna get another pad alrighty There we go, we got a boil. Turn that down a bit. And let's get some oatmeal. There's some warm liquid in me. one that we carved up last week. Let's get some nice warm oats and liquid inside. I just warm warm it up. Warm me up. Just a little bit. Oh yeah. Alrighty. Let me see if I can't do it like this. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful new morning and for the wonderful night. Praise going on right here. Mm. Nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Definitely nice and warm. Blue 
Nem is a saját. A sírát. A sírát. És a blueberry is. Sok kell a raisin is. As you can see, there's a lot of moisture coming from the breath. And as I, as I just kind of see the amount of moisture, it's probably all this condensation on the inside. It may have something to do with permeating through a little bit, but uh, you know, just with one breath, you can see how much condensation. It. So you sleep like that for hours and hours and you're breathing hundreds and hundreds of times. That's definitely enough to put a lot of moisture on the, uh, the tarp. Um, I have it open so it is ventilating uh, a lot better. Getting some air in here and um, the rain has stopped. So Apparently it will pick up again today. Um, my afternoon is 40% chance, the morning is at 5% chance. So we're definitely going to continue good rain. But um, <clears throat> other than the free freezing soothing mat and the cold air conductively sucking out my heat from the bottom, it was a great night. Other than the sleeping mat. Uh, it's just such a shame. I love the sleeping mat. It's so comfortable. Cam was awesome. Uh, it's just uh, what a disappointment. What a massive disappointment. And as you can see, this is the insulated static beat. static fire upset. So what a huge disappointment. This is awesome. This enlightenment the equipment quilt. Love it. But the mat is terrible. So I'm going to have to maybe get back to Thermal Rest <coughs> or a different company because for warmer seasons, this is fine. But no way you're going to deal with this in the cold. You're going to be freezing in the cold. That is a massive disappointment. Massive disappointment. The price is awesome. But again, very, very disappointing. All right, folks. That's that. Let me get some coffee in the boot. All righty, folks. Try not to spill on film. It's going to be more like an espresso. That's all the water I got for now. It's going to be a potent brew right there. Very potent. Clean off the edges there with them oats. Nice little potent brew. But it's going to be nice and warm. <coughs> warm. Look at that awesome steam. Ah, awesome steam. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it's very potent. <laughs> I thought I'd let him have one that, but it's like an espresso. Very potent. Oh yeah, that's really potent. Potent, potent, potent. Um, it's very hard to see the camera because that light is just blinding. But um, that's that, folks. I'm going to warm one up, 
finish off this coffee. And I'll pack it up and uh, get everything situated, get everything back in, dry the stuff out inside, and uh, good test tonight. But again, disappointing on a sleeping mat. I'm really sorry to break that news um, to anybody who was thinking about getting that mat. It's a great price point. Uh, it's just very disappointing. I wish so much so that it would work. But just undo it. Oh. On that, a very good night. Our fire was really dampered down yesterday because of the because of the um, the rain. But um, got a relatively good night's sleep. Not terrible. Not the greatest. Not the, not the worst. It is a new morning, even though it's about 5.30 right now. Alrighty, folks. Um, that will be it. And I'll be signing off today. That'll be it for today. Um, hope you can get outside. God bless. Get outdoors. And get blessed.